Hello everyone and welcome to Dan Thomas Tech and I hope you are well. Today we're going to be having a look at AMD CPUs that have been listed on an online retailer. So let's roll that intro and jump straight on into it. So third generation Ryzen CPUs have been listed on retail sites. However, before we get into the listings, I want to jump back to January this year when Adore TV listed this leak of Ryzen CPUs. Now, there's four that I want to point out here. The Ryzen 5 3600X, the Ryzen 7 3700X, and the two Ryzen 9s, the 3800X and the 3850X. We also saw on over at eCatalog three out of the four CPUs being listed with the same details. Now that's out the way, let's jump onto the current listings. So let's start with the Ryzen 5 3600X. It has 8 cores and 16 threads, a base clock of 4GHz and a boost clock of 4.8GHz. Moving on over to the Ryzen 7 3700X, it has 12 cores and 24 threads, a base clock of 4.2GHz and a boost clock of 5GHz. Moving on over to the Ryzen 9 3800X, it is 16 cores and 32 threads, a base clock of 3.9GHz and a boost of 4.7GHz. And the last one in the list is the Ryzen 9 3850X, again with 16 cores and 32 threads, but a higher base clock of 4.3GHz and a massive boost clock of 5.1GHz. However, a Vietnamese site also lists the Ryzen 9 3800X with a very suspicious looking box in this line. Parameters are for reference only, not 100% official. We will update the most standard parameters when information is available. So, these are just placeholders and may not be the right specs and fakes. Even though all the details are the same, they could have just been copied. However, if these leaks are correct, and going back to the gym at Adore TV when he released the list, then AMD are stepping up their game in the CPU space. And as we know, they are eating into Intel's market share. This could be AMD's year. So continue with AMD and it looks like we won't be seeing third generation Threadripper just yet. At AMD's company quarter one earnings report, they dropped the third generation Threadripper very quietly without anybody noticing from their roadmap. Now there could be a few reasons for this. We know that Epic ROM server CPUs are to launch in quarter three and they use the same seven nanometer chiplets as Threadripper does, meaning the two CPUs would be competing with each other for the best dies. Seven nanometers are newer nodes, so there could be more defects. Also, Threadripper has a very niche market and AMD would make more money on selling the Epic processors. Not only that, but Threadripper launched back in 2017 on the TR4 X399 platform. Even though these are very good motherboards and a refresh has happened, the boards may not be able to handle the third generation CPU. Now we know this from the current issues with the certain motherboards in the 300 series lineup for third generation Ryzen. Hence the reason for the 500 series platform being developed for third generation Ryzen. But there is no mention of a new platform for Threadripper. However, that does it all for me today. If you did like the video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Please do click on that subscribe button. Go ahead and click on that bell icon for more notifications for myself. And I shall see you all in the next video.